Good afternoon. So we've just taken into part exchange this 2014 Sunseeker San Remo 485. It's a sports cruiser, it's two cabin, two heads. It's absolutely beautiful and it's a really impressive boat. Um, so as we've taken this past exchange, it means we own this as a company and the benefits of that to you as a buyer means this boat will be fully serviced and ready to go. We'll anti-foul it, we'll put anodes on it, service the generator and engines. We'll do our own 320 point check. Not that it needs it, by the way, this boat is an exceptional example, but they'll go through it, do a 320 point check and this boat will be definitely uh, you know, ready to go. Um, so yeah, let's have a look uh, at the stern. A very striking boat. The hull windows are really cool on this San, San Remo. So we'll start at the aft end. As you can see, easy access onto this massive swimming platform, which is hydraulic, uh, high-low, so that will fully submerge into the water. I'll also show um, this tender garage that lifts up. So this can store uh, a few, few size tenders, uh, about up to three meters. It's on a roller system with a winch at the forward end, so it's a really easy system to use. And as you can see, um, it's got a fantastic roller system. We've actually got these stainless steel stanchions either side, which uh, go next to the sunbed for a sunshade. But you can see how clean and tidy this whole area is and very accessible. A neat little feature is this um, pocket locker here for kind of lines and warps. It's quite nice to see that. You don't normally see that on these kind of boats. Um, shore power, shower, got those uh, functions on the port side. And then of course, up on starboard is your main gangway. This is your main entrance into the cockpit. You've got this nice little sun seeker embossed into the stainless steel. Looks really nice. And of course, we've got a teak laid cockpit, as you can see, all the way up to the, up to the entrance into the lower deck. Lovely sun pad aft. Like I mentioned, we do have um, some stainless steel sanctions which can accommodate, can accommodate uh, a sunshade, which is really nice. The condition on this boat is really fantastic. You can see that the leather, um, as we go down below, the joinery, the gloss joinery looks really nice. So yeah, the, the condition of this boat is really lovely. So this is a, an open style sports cruiser. We fully opened up the boat. We do have canopies that drop down the aft end and that winterize the boat basically. It's perfect for stationary winter periods. Um, it keeps everything dry inside. Um, but at the moment we've taken everything off, put it into kind of summer mode, opened this beautiful um, sports hardtop, um, which is actually a, a gloss carbon weave, um, which is really cool. I'll show that in a second when we step forward. But you can actually see that the, the windows in the hardtop line up with the windows here. So it actually floods the whole area full of light, whether it's open or closed, which is really nice. Normally they're solid GRP. So what we've got in the main cockpit area for entertaining, you can see it's got this huge wraparound leather seating uh, in this cream. Again, lovely condition. And you can see how this um, table folds out. We do have some uh, supports there as well. So just opposite on the starboard side, we have our wet galley arrangement. So a hot and cold sink beneath here. And then your electric griddle, top loading cool box just there, which is quite deep actually, it goes all the way to the deck. These have got a really nice weight to them on gas struts as well. So you can feel the quality. Just below is another fridge. So you've got two fridges basically for drinks with a, it's got an ice um, box as well. So lots of drinks for entertaining and your main battery isolators are just there as well as your switchboard downstairs, which we'll see in a second. So forward, obviously we've got the helm and the seats accompanying the helm. And this is a really lo lovely seating arrangement to have four seats that are uh, you know, perfect for when you're making passage. Um, just get the whole family integrated. Lots of teak everywhere, lovely dash, handholds, and windows, of course, great visibility all the way around. And then going onto the helm itself, as you can see, we actually, we're elevated a little bit here, and um, you can actually, look, I've got fantastic sight lines over the bow, uh, and equally, you know, if you wanted to drop the bolster, you can sit down, have the roof closed, and it's, uh, yeah, fantastic visibility. One piece windscreen, really nice. So carbon dash, you'll see lots of carbon around as well as the roof, which we'll look at in a second. Um, hybrid touch Raymarine, so fantastic for plotting your course um, and checking your speed over ground and your depth, etc. Even though we have independent repeaters here, so you have lots of options on these. Um, you can mix it up as you wish, depth, speed, revs, really nice. Your Volvo Penta engine um, monitor, so again, you can see boost, revs, oil, etc. So really nice, as well as, of course, your main dial, so engine hours, etc.
and the engine hours on this boat are only 282, which is extremely low for an eight-year-old boat. Um, the boat is equipped with Volvo Penta IPS 600. They're the D6 engines, so 435 horsepower each. Um, so IPS, we're on pods, um, fantastic maneuverability. And we have a joystick just here. Um, so the pods will work independently of each other. They're forward facing, they're um, direct thrust vectoring. So you have instant grip into the water and they work independently. So you can park the boat sideways, you can spin it on an axis, you can go diagonally. Fantastic piece of kit. Um, and additionally to that, an option is the DPS. In it. That means dynamic positioning system. So what that is, you press a button, top left on the joystick here, and uh, that will keep you in a spot. So perfect, for example, when you're waiting for a fuel pontoon and you don't want to keep moving around, just press the button and the boat will keep you in exactly that spot. So it's a really nice option to have that. Um, got a side power bow thruster, uh, auto helm, and our Fusion stereo speaker system, which is really good. And just before we go down into low accommodation area, I'll show you this carbon weave on the rooftop. So as you can see, it's a gloss lacquer and it looks really cool. And again, because it's carbon, um, they can minimize how much they're using just because it's so strong. So we've got lots of glass paneling in this unit. Um, it's really, really cool. And it uh, contrasts the white really nicely, I like it. So now we're in the lower accommodation uh, and here we have two cabin, two heads with our galley and of course our seating. And immediately we've got the dash um, light uh, sunscreen which floods this whole area full of natural light. We've got lovely portholes either side as well. The condition of the inside here is absolutely fantastic. We've got this gloss black American walnut. Uh, I'm, I'm a huge fan of this. It looks absolutely beautiful. And you've got chamfered edges everywhere. It just looks really nice. The design has actually um, stayed really good um, in eight years. So just looking around here on the seating, um, the, cush, um, the seating that goes all the way around, very accommodating, lovely leather condition as well. This whole folding table, which also drops down and there are actually supports that go into the floor uh, that support it if you were going to turn this into a bed. And I like these as well. These portholes are really solid and I absolutely love that. And you can just notice it everywhere. Here's our main switchboard. So we've got our battery isolators uh, in the cockpit, but these are all the breakers for the individual components. The 24 volt system and your 230. So that's nice to have. We've got loads, loads of storage everywhere in all of these units. We have reverse cycle air conditioning um, that can be running through uh, the 9.5 kilowatt generator, or of course your shore power on board. Um, so it's nice to have that in all of the cabins. Um, we've got a cream carpet throughout, which looks lovely. It offsets the gloss woodwork. And then of course here on the port side, we have the galley. So granite worktop, stainless steel sink, uh, two burner ceramic hob, got a fridge here, as well as the two, well, one and a half up in the cockpit. So plenty of refrigeration. We've got the bin and we've got some lovely cutlery here. If you come and have a look, you can see the individual cutout for the Robert Welsh uh, pieces. That's really nice. And we've actually got all of the original Sunseeker cut, uh, crockery. So we've got plenty of cups there and our champagne flutes and tumblers there, which is really nice to have. So forwards, we have the VIP cabin, which is which has its own ensuite. As you can see, it's an option um, for these berths to have uh, a split, a split double basically. So it's quite nice to have um, two options for an arrangement, whether you have children or a couple, it's really nice. But you can just see the, the quality of this gloss walnut, it's absolutely beautiful. You've got a kind of chrome uh, trim around it as well. And you've got your lovely portholes, air conditioning, TV here on the port side at the end of this bed. Just really nice, really well thought out. Lots of space to walk around when you split the berths. Of course, the ensuite has its own um, shower, electric flush loo, large basin, just very well equipped, really nice VIP cabin for your guests. So we'll go have a look um, to the master cabin, but before I forgot to mention that these are uh, very nice Samsung TV as well in the lower saloon with some speakers just above and also just this leather lining, all in really nice condition. Just before the master cabin, we do, this is your day head, uh, which is obviously the ensuite to the master. So Jack and Jill, two doors, and again, the same amenities as the other one, full standing head height shower and uh, electric flush loo. And then of course, into the master cabin itself, this is a full beam. We're in the bottom 
at the widest part of the boat so you get full uh, volume down here which is really lovely some beautiful cabinetry here on the starboard side gloss woodwork sideboard lots of storage everywhere and again these fantastic windows i do love these huge portholes that open up as well it's beautiful and then of course your large hanging locker just there it's very easy to get changed you've got a, a large sofa on the port side um, but yeah, I love these chamfered edges at the, ed at the end of the bed. It just looks really nice. The design is still very contemporary and it's a really nice place to be. So that concludes the walkthrough tour on Shark. It's a 2014 Sunseeker San Remo 485. Really cool boat, fantastic condition. Um, you can see why it's such an iconic sports cruiser. Just a really good looking boat from the outside and in. Two cabin, two heads, tender garage, high-low platform, uh, IPS engines, generator air conditioning. It's just got all the bits and bobs you'd need. And not to mention, of course, this awesome uh, carbon fiber weave uh, hard top, which looks really cool. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice boat presented for sale with us Argo Yachting. Um, just to reiterate what this boat comes with, um, as it's a stock boat of ours, we own this. So it's just about to have a 320 point check by our service engineers. And what that means is they'll go through the whole boat to make sure it's, it's absolutely as good as it can be. Uh, and the boat will be fully serviced, engines new generator, um, it will be anti-fouled, anodes, it will come with a mechanical and electrical breakdown guarantee. Um, so we will try and provide the best service possible. It, uh, you will also have a free technical orientation free of charge um, from one of our service engineers as well. So um, if you'd like any more information, most importantly the price, please go to our website argoyachting.com. All the information is there, the spec, the photos, the videos, a 3D virtual tour as well. If you'd like any more information, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you.